Whoa. The grease is still hot. That's good. That's good. All clear. Quite they're gonna see us. <laughs> oh, hold the door open, Charlie. Lovely flowers, Charlie. Come on. I need to talk to somebody. Hold on. I need to talk to somebody now. Right now. What the? <coughs> oh. This is Charlie 19. We need a bus ASAP, corner 9th and Avenue D. You gotta help them. Help who? Where? <laughs> My apartment. Help them. Police. Hello, NYPD. Hello? It's clear. Oh, there's some crispy french fries. Whoa. It smells like it's coming from here. Yeah, and the smoke. Hello? NYPD? Police? Central, this is Detective Lupo. We got two DOAs, one male, one female. Definitely getting off the fried foods now. Hey, excuse me. We're looking for the supervisor, Ms. Voles. Oh, she usually takes her tea right about now. Try the employee lounge. <laughs> Thanks. Actually, maybe you can help us. We're looking for an employee here by the name of Wendy. Wendy? Yeah, last name starts with a T. No, sorry. The lounge is down to the left at the end. Thanks. Detectives! Ms. Bowles. I've been chasing you. Are you looking for me? We have a name, Wendy. Well, we have a few Wendy's working here. Her last name starts with a T. Wendy Teal? I thought I just saw you talking to her. The redhead. Excuse me. Anything? No, you? No. One of the girls saw Wendy leave with her coat and purse. I don't get it. She is a highly qualified CPA. Okay, we're gonna need her home address. I don't have it. Look, this is about a damn subpoena. No, no, no. Wendy moved two weeks ago. I think she moved in with her parents. Who was that? She said she'd be sleeping in her mother's bed. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Uh-huh. Bye. So her mother died three months ago. The apartment was vacated a month after that. Thank you. Okay, Wendy must have been staying somewhere up in Queens. The trace on the Metro card she bought with a credit card has her taking the 7 train at Elmhurst Avenue every morning. Oops. Two months ago, she filed a criminal complaint against her brother. She wanted him arrested for burglary and for trespassing at their mother's place. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner at the Teal's house? Must have been a lot of fun. I'm sure you don't want one of these. They're crispy. The bow is bent and drawn. Make from the shaft. Let it fall, rather. Though the fork invade the region of my heart, be careful. I haven't seen my sister since she tried to have me arrested. What'd she do now? Rob a liquor store in a nude? <laughs> Laugh much? Your sister has severe mental problems. You have no idea how time consuming, not to mention emotionally draining it is to constantly be picking up after her. Eric, it's called King Lear, not Queen Lear. Man up! Uh, uh, actually, Mr. Teal, all we really need is your sister's current address. Don't have one. If you had to guess. Look, I've had to dial back on my primary caretaker role. My wife and I just had a baby. Is amazing. Everything I thought I knew, out the window. The last time you spoke with your sister, did she mention she had a boyfriend named Charlie? She's got a boyfriend. Lucky guy. 
Why don't you just ask him for the address where she's living? We would. But he died Tuesday night. Tuesday night? I got a call Tuesday night from a doctor over at Westside Hospital. They were holding Wendy for a psyche eval. He said she was raving manic. That only happens when she goes off her meds. She'd taken off by the time I got there. Hmm. Let me guess. She had something to do with her boyfriend's death. We need to talk to her about that. And about two murdered British students across the hall from her boyfriend. Whoa. I read about that. Yeah, so maybe now you'd like to think a little harder about where your sister's living. She told a co-worker that she would be sleeping in your mother's old bed. Oh, that's not possible. That's, that's what she wanted to have me arrested for. It's all misplaced grief. Your mother's furniture, what'd you do with it? I put it in storage in Queens. Near the Elmhurst stop at the number seven train. Wendy Teal? Don't hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Let me see your hands. For the police, we just wanna talk to you. You wanna come with us? Somewhere warm? Yeah, sure, somewhere warm. Give me your hand. Hands behind your back. Oops. Check this out. The old kitchen knife. Docket number 55939, People v. Wendy Teal. Two counts, second degree murder. Defendant pleads not guilty, Judge. People request remand. Ms. Teal has no fixed address. She's mentally ill and she's a threat to the community. Your Honor, her brother is here today and requests that she be released to him. He'll ensure that she is properly medicated, that she will... I don't need anybody to ensure that I'm properly medicated. As Your Honor can see, Ms. Teal is not in control of her emotions. Your Honor, Mr. Teal has long experienced caretaking for his sister. Defendant will be confined to her brother's home and will wear a monitoring device. Bail's 250000 Ms. Ruby Rosa, I'm Dennis Teal. Yeah, I, I hope you know what you're taking on. I know it in spades, but she is my kid's sister. I'm hoping you might make a deal. A trial of just humiliating her. It's okay, what Wendy, are you doing? Wendy, Wendy. You don't discuss my case with him. Wendy, I'll handle I don't this. care if he hired you. He's not the client. If you want to discuss my case, you talk to my lawyer. <sighs> Sorry about that. I assume that you'll be giving notice of an insanity defense. Nope. I'll be in touch about a plea. My client is willing to plead to the two counts of second degree murder. In return, you'll agree to a sentence of 20 to life and you won't oppose parole. 20 to life? Have you explained to your client that even if she took her chances at trial, the most she'd get is 25 to life? Assuming she gets parole. Before we go any further, I'd like Miss Teal to tell us what happened that night. I was off my meds. My mind was racing and I was having these awful thoughts about the British girl who lived across from Charlie. I thought she was trying to steal him away from me. I tried to discourage Charlie, but Charlie was weak. And when I went to his place that night, I saw he had flowers. I, I thought for her. I took the flowers to her apartment I brought a knife to cut up the flowers and things got out of control. Do you remember stabbing Geraldine? Yes. I killed Colin first when he answered the door. Then Geraldine came into the room, and I killed her too. I was so angry. Then, I set them on fire, and I ran away. I, I'm sorry. I knew it was wrong, 
but I did it anyway. Where did you go? The emergency room. I knew I, I needed a shot that I was out of control. My client was manic, but she knew what she was doing. And now this is what she wants. We'll get back to you. It's not just the lawyer pushing for a deal, it's, it's the brother too. She admitted killing two people. She knew right from wrong. She wants to take a plea. Who are we to say no? What if she was legally insane when she committed the crime? And what if after sitting in jail for a while, she decides she's not quite as sorry as she is right now? Do we really want to risk a reversal on appeal? 